Now let's look at another example. In the figure, triangle ABC and triangle PRQ are congruent. Find X, Y, Z. This is triangle ABC and PRQ. If they are congruent, that means they can overlap with each other. If I do a translation, if I do another refraction of PRQ, now we can see that they can overlap with each other. And therefore, Y and the right angle will be the corresponding angles. EZ will be corresponding to 60 degree, and XCM will correspond to this side, 2CM. And now we can write down, because triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PRQ. Therefore, Y will be equal to 90 degree. Uh, angle C equals to angle Q. Corresponding angles equal. Therefore, Y equals to 90 degree. And what about EZ? EZ will correspond to angle AP to A. And the reason is also corresponding angles equal. Therefore, P, angle P is EZ. And sometimes if we find difficulty in doing the translation or refraction, we can do it in another way. Say if the given condition is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PRQ, that means A and P will be corresponding angles of each other. And angle C and angle Q will be always equal to each other because they are corresponding angles. Therefore, Y will equal to 90 degree. We can just look at the corresponding angles from the given condition. Finally, we need to find X. X will be corresponding to 2CM. Therefore, AB equals to PR. You can also tell from the given condition. This is AB. Side AB equals to side PR. The reason is corresponding sides are equal. Therefore, PR will be X and AB will be 2.